Hey, good day, folks. Welcome to another episode of Andrew's Life. I hope everyone's doing great so far. Uh, we are going to be uh, driving through the city of Crystal Falls, Michigan. Now, Crystal Falls, Michigan is a small city or town, whatever you want to refer it to as. But it's a, well, we'll just call it a town. Crystal Falls, Michigan is a town that is located 29 miles north of Honor Mountain, which that video will be coming up probably tomorrow. Or later today, depending on what time this video uploads. Most likely the video will be coming up tomorrow. But anyways, the population of Crystal Falls is currently at 1,598 people. And as of the 2020 census, the town has experienced a 8.8% population increase, up from 1,469 people uh, as of the 2010 census. And this town has been losing population from 1920 to 2010. And the population here in Crystal Falls peaked at 3,775 people back in back during the 1910 census. The development of the city was due to iron mining and the timber industry. And like many other cities in the Michigan UP, I forgot to mention this at the very beginning, but I'll mention it right now. For those of you that are not familiar with the state of Michigan, Crystal Falls is located in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. So with that being said, Crystal Falls is a tourist community, pretty much like many other communities up here in the UP, up in UPR. And Crystal Falls is also the home of Crystal Theater, an arts performing center. And on the last weekend of February, the city also holds the annual fishery tournament on the Michigami Reservoir, which I, I should have found a way to get there but I didn't know how to get there so my apologies and if you're looking to reside here I got some good news for you guys for starters crime here is extremely low crime in all departments is well below the national average not like any other place up here in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, obviously, it's going to get ungodly cold and you will get a crap ton of snow. But during the summertime, you really couldn't ask for much better weather. I mean, I suppose you can cry to the universe and... And, and, and ask the universe for a little bit more sun because even during the summer up here even on days that it's sunny it's typically covered with a bunch of clouds so as far as your days of sunlight as I've told you on previous videos of the UP you're not going to get a whole lot of sunlight throughout the year this is the time of year where you'll see the most amount of sun and like I said even this time of the year, you're gonna see, you're gonna still see your fair share of cloudy days. So if you're looking to move here, uh, you know, now when it comes to jobs, I mean, I suppose you can drive a half hour in the Iron Mountain, which is gonna be the closest city to here. Now, Iron, Iron Mountain is not that big of a city, as you guys will find out on tomorrow's video. 
and from what I gather there are some manufacturing job opportunities in Iron Mountain but I would say the bulk of the economy around here is going to be manufacturing and it's going to be probably hospitality given the tourism that's here in the UP and this would be a play and in my humble opinion if you're going to move here you might want to go ahead and bring a job with you like if you work online or if you work for a company that's going to transfer your employment up here to this region of, of Michigan I would advise you to have something like that going on before you come up here that or I guess if you're retired and you're collecting some type of a pension or SSI uh, you're more than welcome to come up here and check it out and fortunately for those of you that are on a fixed income or for those of you that may not earn the most amount of money in the world but maybe you, you're working remotely which allows you to travel wherever you want to travel and live wherever you want to live for the most part another piece of good news is housing prices up here are relatively affordable your median rent prices are going to go from $530 to $1,120 a month. And if you're looking to purchase, as I've told you on other uh, Upper Peninsula Michigan videos, if you're not used to the climate that's up here in this region of the country, stay up here for a year, pay rent. And make sure you can handle the harsh renters before you put your hard work and money into purchasing a home up here. That's my suggestion. But other than that, if you're looking to purchase, housing up here is very affordable. You got prices as low as $35,000. And I would say for under $100,000, you'll be able to buy something half decent and there really is no part of town that i would say is bad or ran down or any of that type of stuff up here you don't really have that so no worries there unless i'm missing something because i understand looks can be deceiving sometimes but i'm willing to say there's no bad areas up here so you don't have to worry about that Now, if you got children or school age kids, the school system up here has a B grade. So your kids ought to be able to go to school and get a decent education. I would think so anyway. And I would say, honestly, if you're looking at moving up here, uh, it, for the right person, it could be a wonderful place to move to and call home. The cost of living up here for the most part is not too expensive. I would say the main downfall of living up here, as in living in most parts of the Upper Peninsula, is the fact that job, opportunity, job opportunities are not going to be the best. But other than that, Come up here, check it out. You might love it. I mean, even if you don't want to be here all year round and have to endure the harsh renters up here, you can come up here. If you, I guess if you got a little bit of money, you can come up here, buy yourself a, a summer home and come up here and hang out during the summer if your uh, life permits it. And now we're going to go over to Niche. We're going to see what other people think about this city. Now on Niche, there's been four reviews. And based on four reviews, this city or town gets a four out of a five star rating. So let's see what people got to say. Oh, hey, well, someone rated this city excellent, which is five stars. And this review was, was written 
September of 2022. I lived here basically my entire life and it's absolutely wonderful. Beautiful, quaint, and such a tight-knit community. Okay, the next comment is a four star. This was written 11 months ago. Small, to uh, small town with about half of the town's population living in the immediate area of Crystal Falls. So about 500 people in the heart of Crystal Falls. The other half are far flung about 350 plus square miles that make up the township. Everybody knows each other and are fast to help one another. When we had first moved up here, it was winter by, it was winter by winter. It is winter and by winter. I don't know what that means. I don't mean all look honey. It's starting to snow. We may have several inches of snow by the morning. No. They measure snow up here by the feet where we got hit with our first real snowstorm in November. We received over two feet of snow within a day. No way were we able to leave the house. We had snow shovels but no snow blower. A neighbor with a plow cleared our drive and sidewalk. Why? We were new here and absolutely not aware of how bad it gets. We just saw him outside plowing for us. The schools are great. With administration and teachers who care, it's safe with kids walking to school. Local ice cream shop, two blanking traffic lights like the 1980s. Yeah, it sounds like a typical uh, small town, small country town. That's what it sounds like to me. I mean, where I live here in Alabama, that's basically what we have going on. The only difference is, uh, is our population is a little smaller there than even this one. And our weather is a lot nicer, it's a lot warmer. It's on the other side of the country, damn near. And we're gonna read one more statement. Well, review, it's a three star review. Well, no, we got two of them. Okay, now the first three star review was written January of 2022. Decent place for an affordable summer home or close knit small town life. Terrible for an up starting adult in college, career, or businesses. Our family has had a lake house for generations. We have a couple of relatives who live in town who seem to enjoy it. Definitely a quaint country living area. City folks don't bother. <laughs> so if you're a city person, don't bother coming up here unless you want to be country. Got it. Far away from anywhere you really want to go, including restaurants, businesses, and leisure. Town is pretty dead. Many businesses close on Main Street of downtown. Extremely limited options for shopping unless you go to Iron Mountain or Iron River, which is 20 to 30 minutes away. Teens worry. No, teens would be bored out their minds, except for sports or nature activities. Would highly recommend for nature lovers, sport, game, and nature enthusiasts. Great, a quiet, relaxing, earthy getaway, but wouldn't stay longer than a month or so. 
budget wilderness options for retirement, but far from medical care. Very conservative area, friendly down to earth folks, but who enjoys their privacy? But who enjoys their privacy? So apparently, people here are neighborly, but at the same time, they enjoy their privacy. So try not to bother these people too much for that uh, for that cup of milk that you might need to. I don't know, cook a, you might need to bake a cake. They might give you a cup of milk the first time, maybe the second time, but the third time they'll probably, yeah, I don't know, they'll probably cuss you out and slam the door. I don't know. <laughs> okay, now this next three star comment was written in August of 2019. Everybody knows everybody. A great place if you want a close community with a high focus on sports. Forest Park is a great public school with a, with an administration that cares. And like I said before, you got a good school in this town. People, for the most part, appear to be nice, as long as I guess you don't get too nosy. You know what? If I was wanting to live in this region of Michigan, I could definitely rock with that. But unfortunately, I have no desire to live up here. It's too freaking cold. And yeah, it's too cold up here. And that's gonna, I don't really have anything else to say for the commentary. So that will complete the commentary. Hopefully you guys got something out of it. And I would love for you guys to stick around. And watch the remaining of this video so you can get more footage of this beautiful town. And on that note, if you like what I do, give videos like this a thumbs up. If you haven't done so, go ahead and subscribe to the channel right now. And on that note, stay blessed. I will catch you guys on the next one.